The Guam Regional Medical City, a private hospital still being built in Dedido, has not even submitted an application for a qualifying certificate, but it is already getting a backlash from the medical community for its intent to apply for one. On the K57 Breakfast Show this morning, GMA President Dr. Tom Shea says giving the new hospital a tax break is unfair to the rest of the medical community and especially to the Guam Memorial Hospital. If a new hospital is built, it's definitely going to drain the uh, Gulf Guam resources for GMH. That hospital is already struggling already. There's a lot of big population, middle class, that can't afford health care. Now, what we need to do is make sure that the hospital is viable, but they can be viable, just like any of the medical clinic that's open here on Guam. They can stand on their own, but they need to pay their share of taxes to make sure that they can be a productive office or business that's vibrant, but they cannot get special treatments. Adding to those concerns is GMA member Dr. Hua Nguyen. He also thinks that the tax break will create a huge divide in quality of care between Guam Memorial Hospital and the medical city because the local pool of medical staff will flock to the new hospital, which can then afford to offer better employment packages. I don't really truly look at that picture yet, but um, I think that it's going to um, it's going to be a definite competition between GMH and the new hospital. I mean, regarding the nursing staff, mm -hmm. the technician, mm -hmm. uh, even the physician, okay, uh, and so you're going to have probably two standard of care from one for the poor and one for the rich. Gita Administrator Carl Pangolinen says, however, that he cannot even say for sure if the QC will be approved because the only dialogue they've had with the private hospital in terms of a QC was nine months ago when the hospital's president, Margaret Bengzon, submitted a letter of intent. Pangolinen says he hasn't heard from them since. There hasn't been an official application um, submitted to Gita yet. All that was submitted to us was a letter of intent to apply. In fact, Pangolinen says there is an entire bureaucratic process before the hospital can even begin to see the benefits of a tax waiver, which can take a number of years. If approved, the new hospital doesn't get a tax break right off the bat. It's not until one year after a contract that Gita's compliance team evaluates the company. If they pass, the company then takes a certificate of compliance up to revenue tax, and they're then typically given a rebate in the form of a credit, not a cash rebate, he says. Gita's responsibility in issuing a tax waiver, Pangolinen adds, is to ensure that the benefits to the community and economic growth outweigh that of the tax breaks granted. Responding to concerns that the private hospital is a for-profit business, giving them an unfair advantage over their competition, Pangolinen says all QC beneficiaries are for-profit businesses. Remember that the QC program is for businesses and mm -hmm. every business has a profit motive. And so, you know, this program was made available to, you know, just about every business on Guam. And so, um, you know, every one of the, the, the doctor's clinics could have applied, um, you know, as they were setting up shop.